walk on land, or how zebras became striped so they could hide in the tall grass from predators. It may sound like semantics, but this line of thinking ascribes an objective to nature. Rather, these changes came about naturally and randomly, and happened to be advantageous enough that they remained features of these organisms. In addition to teleonomy, evolution is often substituted with what I like to call Pokemon evolution. In this view, animals evolve into a more advanced form, like Bulbasaur evolves into Venusaur. This is wrong for two reasons. One, species do not just change from one to another. During speciation, subpopulations change according to their environment, resource availability, sexual competition, or simply random mutation until they are no longer able to interbreed with the original population, marking them as a distinct species. This is not a linear process, and instead looks more like new species branching from an ancestor, often even outcompeting the original population into extinction. For example, people often think that dinosaurs like T-Rex evolved directly into birds. This isn't really what happened, as rather than all the dinosaurs evolving to birds, birds separated from the dinosaur tree until they eventually became a distinct group. They had dinosaur ancestors 